I ran for office because of my own personal experiences with healthcare. Um, when I was playing, or when I was in college, I played rugby for the Kansas Jayhawk Rugby Football Club here in Lawrence. And while I was playing, I suffered numerous repeated concussions, and this gave me brain damage. And it led me to have some pretty serious mental health issues for years. Um, I eventually found a doctor who specialized in brain trauma and working with him for about five years, you know, I was able to, you know, get back on my feet and regain my cognitive abilities and, you know, regain my mental health. The problem was that insurance didn't cover this and the bills added up to tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, I'm a wage earner. There is no way I could have, you know, paid for this treatment on my own. Fortunately for me, my family could afford to get me the, you know, the treatment I needed. But I know that's not the case for you know, so many Kansans, and something immediately needs to be you know, fixed. Um, I don't want people to you know, suffer mental health um, needlessly. Well, I currently uh, help run a liquor store um, in town. It's a small business. And pretty much my adult life, I have been employees, uh, employee for small businesses. Uh, I will be a, a champion for small businesses because small business is the main economic driver in this state. When I think of small businesses, I think of working Kansans, you know, trying to get by. Uh, I would uh, support policies that would encourage formation of encourage formation of and support for small businesses. Um, basically whatever we can to help small businesses hire more workers in this state. Well, in working in a liquor store, uh, I have, you know, I've been working in an essential industry. I am an essential worker. Uh, since, you know, March when this uh, started going down, I have been dealing with COVID on a daily basis. Um, so from my first-hand experience, the only way we can create confidence um, and get the economy going again is to make sure people feel safe. And that goes for you know, employers, employees, and consumers. We need to find policies that mitigate the, uh, the health risks of COVID. If we want a healthy economy, we have to have healthy workers. And unless, until people feel safe, we're, we're never gonna get back to anything close to normal. I think the th thing that the state can do, obviously, is to increase funding to these technical training programs in order for people to become qualified in lucrative um, careers for small businesses, you, know, you can get HVAC or you know, machinist or electrical training at these uh, programs. A good example of this would be the Dwayne Peasley uh, Technical Center here in Lawrence. They do great work training workers to go out there you know, and improve their lives. Well, COVID is you know, looming over everything in this state and most of the immediate issues we are facing are a result of COVID. We have to have COVID appropriate policies to restore confidence. People have to feel safe uh, to work, to go out and shop, to hire, um, make sure their, their employees aren't getting sick. Healthcare is another one that is incredibly important, especially in this time. We still have to expand Medicaid in the state and additionally that we definitely need a true mental health parity as well. Um, states are, the state is required or requires insurance companies to cover mental health, but there are a lot of loopholes that need to be closed. And from my personal experience as a worker, um, I, I suffered a physical injury that gave me mental health issues. I know how devastating these can be to a worker's livelihood and we need to provide opportunities for people to you know come back from these ailments and you know re-enter the workforce and compete in the market um, I think the third uh, biggest issue is our economy um, our economy is very weak at this point and again this goes back to COVID with 
you know, f people just not feeling safe uh, going back to work and uh, participating. We need to focus on unemployment um, because we know that the unemployment funds for the state are going to dry up within a number of months and that needs to be looked at. We need economic development and policies to keep small businesses open and to put people back to work. Small businesses are going to hire people. Small businesses are going to get us out of this recession that, I mean, it is a recession. We need small businesses to be able to hire qualified employees and to pay them for our economy to go forward. So those, those are the three issues that I would address.